Hello fabulous ones, welcome back to my channel. I am Marlo Keenan, and if you're new here, welcome to the Fabulous Family. Today I am going to show you my favorite palettes that I have from each makeup brand. I saw this video done by London Artistry Makeup. I will link her channel above. She's amazing. Please go check her out. And I don't know where she saw the video from, but I'm crediting her because that's where I watched it. So I'm super excited to do this. I've got a lot going on on this table. So this may be a longer video, who knows? But before you leave, don't forget to subscribe to my channel. It's free. Hit the notification bell so you don't miss any of my future uploads. So let's just get to it. It's like almost like a, it, there's a lot of brands. There's a lot of brands. Let's put it that way. I am not going to go into any particular order. I'm just going to grab it and talk about it. So the first brand is Juvia's Place. My favorite palette from Juvia's Place, I think it's more because it was my very first palette. It's like a loyalty thing, but it is the Masquerade palette. I absolutely love this palette. I've already hit pan. On one of the shades, you know, this one here. I just love this palette because it's so universal. I could do a everyday look, a colorful look, and these colors, the pigmentation is off the chain. We know this, we already know about Juvia's Place, but this is definitely my favorite palette by the brand. The next brand is Urban Decay. And again, I think it's because it was like my first palette. I absolutely love it and it is the original Naked. I love this palette. I mean, this palette, hello. There, I hit pan on everyone, but this is an older palette, so of course I got through it. But my favorite transitional shades is Naked and Buck. These are my top two favorite, top five transitional shades ever, is Naked and Buck. I absolutely love this palette. This is an everyday palette for sure but it also can be glamorous as it has a darker shades at the end but this is by far my favorite from urban decay okay the next one is abh now this was tough you know what i mean but i have to go with the modern renaissance palette it's my favorite palette by abh i have mostly all of the palettes by abh i think i just don't have the jackie Ina one which i need to get that and the Amorese or something like that. But I absolutely love this palette. This shade right here, I already had been. It's one of my favorite shades to darken out that outer corner. And these shades just blend beautifully. I mean, yes, there's a lot of kick up with ABH, but we already know that. It's not a deal breaker for me. But this is just classic for me. Okay, the next one is by BH Cosmetics. Now, I don't have a lot of BH Cosmetics palettes, but this one, I will have to say, is my favorite one, and it's the one that is the first one, I think, collab with Carly Bible. I mean, I hit pan on all these, too. The highlight shades are great. These shades were wonderful, obviously. I mean, I literally hit pan on almost all of them. And I used to love these for like every day. Like I used to wear this palette almost like every day to work and was able to deepen up that outer corner. And it was just so beautiful. These shadows, you know, blend out really well. Again, I mean, look at it. It's, it's an old palette though. You know, I haven't used it in a while, but I'm going to have to again shortly. Oldie but goodie. Okay, the next brand that I have is Lorac. And my favorite palette by Lorac is the Mega Pro Two. I absolutely love this palette. I get so mad when I bust it out because it's like, oh my God, I keep on forgetting about it because it's in my drawer. And I love all the shades in here, the shimmers. They're so pigmented. They blend out easy. And these don't have that much kick up. Uh, apparently, I love green. You guys know I love working with green. This is the forest green of the palette. You know, you have all the mattes on top, two rows, and the shimmers on the bottom. I mean, this palette is actually, it, it's really beautiful. And I have to keep it out on my desk so I could use it more. Okay, the next company is by Pure. My favorite palette by Pure. I don't have that many. I, bought, I got about like four or five of them. I do love this Syrah, whatever, Syrah Diaries. Um, and I already hit pan on one of the shades. Again, right there, because y'all know I love a dark inner corner. So when it comes to browns, I go for that rich, 
chocolate, you know, dark, warm brown, and this has got it right there. And so these shades, again, blend out beautifully. I do like the bottom row as well. And, you know, I do like this burnt orange one too. I know you guys know I don't like orange, but this is not that type of orange. I love using that to darken up the outer corner. So out of all their palettes that I have, this is the one that I like the most. Okay, by ColourPop. Now, I don't have that much by ColourPop, but I do, I don't know, about two, I found three or four palettes, but this is by far my favorite one. This is called Wet. This is in a collaboration with, I don't even know who he is, child. Bretman, Bretman times ColourPop. I don't know who he is, but look at this palette. This palette right here is so beautiful. I love the blue. This stark thickens silver shade right here a cut crease outer corner phenomenal like I will pull this to get that shade in the blues I absolutely love this palette especially for when you just want a really beautiful deep blue look or even a light blue this palette is the go-to for that so guys the Sun is shifting so Excuse the change in color. So my next brand is by Urban Vibes Cosmetics, a black owned brand. I absolutely love her. You guys gotta check this brand out. I love this palette. This is my favorite one out of the brand because A, it has a black and a white, it has a blue, it has a color, it has the brown as well. You know, it just has everything that you need to either go every day or go dark at night and just deepen up everything and it's a night look you know and that's what I love about this palette and it blends out beautifully these shimmers the mattes are really really good guys you gotta go check out Urban Vibes all right the next one are my MAC palettes like out of all and I have quite a few of MAC palettes and my favorite one is my custom one which is my MAC Z palette I created this you know I bought all, all the single shadows the classic ones and I just made my own little palette right here I have to use this more I again it's in my drawer and I hardly pick it up but I got all the classic shades in here the nylon I mean the soft brown I mean everything that's classic to Mac I have in here so this one is definitely my favorite because it's custom made Oh my God, are we gonna get through this? Okay, so out of all my NARS palettes, my favorite one is this, is Narcissist. It is the Wanted palette. Now, the reason why I got this palette was because of Alicia Ashley, she made me buy it. I had did a video, there was some, uh, like a tag going around or something and of uh, doing your following your favorite YouTubers, YouTubers makeup or something like that. And this is the palette that I got. This palette is so gorgeous. The shimmer is so beautiful. That dark brown to darken up the outer corner. I can't believe I haven't even used this in like forever. But this is actually absolutely stunning. And this is my favorite palette by NARS. Okay guys, I had to brighten up. It's getting dark outside, so I had to brighten this up a little bit. Okay, so the next brand is Face Candy. And Face Candy, I don't even know about. One of my uh, best friends, Sherry Ward, used to, you know, tell me about Face Candy and all these kind of other brands that are dupe other brands. But this palette right here by Face Candy is stunning. It is the Atlantis palette. And again, perfect palette with all the greens and the blues now some of the shimmers like especially title and swell like when you put it on a brush they are extremely flaky and so when you do your eye makeup you definitely want to do your eyes first and your base later but the shades and the colors and the pigmentation is there it's absolutely gorgeous I love this palette I just used it like a few days ago it's stunning so and it's inexpensive okay all right, the next brand is Midas Cosmetics. You guys know I'm an affiliate. All that information down below. Save yourself some 20%. And of course, it's the High Times palette. Again, we're going with the greens. We're going with the greens. I don't ever dip into 
um, Harlequin or train wreck because they're on the orange side but I have dipped into everything else and I haven't dipped into joint but when it comes to the greens and the shimmer yeah, I've dipped into all of it but my favorite are the greens that look the old gosh kush is almost like you can't see it but it's, it has an indentation in it I blend that shade out with Kermit I mean oh, this is my favorite green palette so oh, you, you must have to check this out the next brand is by Too Faced, and I have a lot of Too Faced palettes, but my favorite is the old school Too Faced it's Semi Chocolate Bar Palette. This palette is the palette that I take on vacation. You know, one of the palettes anyway. It's an everyday palette. I got all my browns. I've got, look at it, I've even hit pan on that brown. I got the black to deepen up the outer corner. I got the beautiful shimmers. I could do a cut crease. You got that uh, spotlight of blue right there. This is an all-in-one stop shop palette, and I absolutely love it, especially for traveling. Okay, my favorite palette by Kat Von D is the Saint and Center. I have a few of her palettes, and I love this palette. I don't use it that much. Shame on me, but this got so many mixed reviews, but I absolutely love it because it's colorful. I could do some serious cut creases, and these shades are super unique. I mean, this green right here, I don't even know if it's green. We're going to swatch this bad boy. It's called Westmet. Vet, what is it called? Vestment. I mean, oh my God. This shade is so unique. And the shifts in it are gorgeous. Like, I'm, I'm telling you, like, I do not know why I don't pick this up more often. But I absolutely love this palette. Okay, the next brand is Violet Voss. I love Violet Voss. I didn't even know about Violet Voss until BoxyCharm because they sent some palettes. And this is the Violet Pro Voss Pro Eyeshadow Palette. Oh my God, it's so pretty. It's so rosary, rosary, rosary in terms of the color. You know, it's like, you know, got the beautiful pinks. It's got the brown. It got that dark uh, shade to bright darken up. The outer corner I can't talk right now I'm talking too fast I haven't touched this one because it's orange but all of these shades are so beautiful so lovely I love Violet Voss formula to me is at the top notch of eyeshadow formulas in my opinion I really do enjoy working with her shades okay my next brand is dose of colors and if it wasn't for miss sherry ward i would never know about these these are the marvelous mobs this is my favorite palette by dose of colors um, i don't have them all but i do have some and look at that when i tell you this is so smooth so buttery like they blend out so well i created a, just a very simple everyday beautiful gorgeous mobby look with this palette and she has others you know they're monochromatic light to dark you know one-stop shop when you want a specific shade or color these are magnificent oh we getting down to the wire okay let's do morphe now i got a crap load of morphe palettes okay like literally so many but my favorite one is the og with jacqueline hill times jacqueline hill and this is the first original palette okay it's got the shade names on the back. This is the first one. Again, another palette that I travel with because you have everything. You have your trans uh, transitional shades. You have your color. You have your black. You have your browns. You know what I mean? You have all your warms. You have your shimmers. This palette is bomb. I always say I love all these browns up here. They are they all have like indentations in it. They're about to hit pan. This is my favorite palette by Morphe and also one of my favorite palettes to go traveling with because it's one stop shop. The only thing what would make me take the Too Faced one is just because maybe because you know this is big and I don't want to travel with it. But other than that, this is my traveling palette, child. Okay, so by Fenty Beauty, my favorite one is number six out of the, I got number three, number six, I got a few others, but here it is, it's number six, and I like it because it's smoky. I love it because it's smoky, they blend out fine, um, I have no complaints about this, and I could create a very soft look, believe it or not, or a very dramatic look, especially if I want to just use one shade all over the lid. Number six is my favorite from Fenty Beauty. Woo! 
chat. All right, we're getting down to the wire, y'all. Okay, my favorite palette by Makeup Geek is the Makeup Geek Matrix palette in colors. You guys know I'm an affiliate. All that information is down below and all of that jazz. Save you some coin and I love it. And what I love about this palette, it's easy. It's perfect for beginners. You know what I'm saying? Go up the road, go up the road, go up the road and you have an eye look. The greens are magnificent. I have worked with the greens more than any of the other shades because I just love green. I'm going to dive more into the blues because you guys know I love blue too. But this is my favorite from Makeup Geek. Absolutely love it. And then last but not least is Mother Pat. So it's not like I have a lot of her palettes. I only have like three. But this is my favorite one that I have. These celestial shades at the end are my favorite shimmer celestial specialty shades of all time. I actually have Mother on right now. I used uh, this red uh, burgundy shade right here and these two shades together. I absolutely love it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And then I got one, uh, the celestial shade right there in the, in the corner. This is definitely, so far, my favorite. But I feel like the next palette I get, which I already know I'm going to get, might be my favorite after this. Okay, my favorite palette by the Natasha Denona. Natasha Denona, Natasha Denona is the Natasha Denona bronze palette this again another palette that is every day that i use to go to work it blends out beautifully the shimmers are gorgeous my favorite shade is this eggplant shade right here it's so unique to me it's like so unique i do not have any shade in my collection that is comparable and so that's what makes it special to me but i absolutely love this palette now, those are all the palettes that I love. My favorite palettes, eyeshadows, whatever from each brand. Now, I am going to include three more palettes, but these palettes are the only ones that I have from the brand. So, it's really not fair to say it's my favorite if I don't have the other palettes but I'm going to say they're my favorite and it'd be remissive of me to not to mention them because I really love them like that and one of those palettes are by Wayne Goss you guys know this okay this is the Moonstone Pearl palette cool tone blue black gray and that shimmery shade it is gorgeous I created two looks at least on the the tube so go check the review go check out the look that I uh, took this palette to the next level with a double cut crease I absolutely love this palette the next palette that I had to mention is Tati Beauty Tati Beauty I mean this palette is gorgeous it's really nice it's the only palette she has but I still had to mention it I mean another palette where I think is beginner friendly in that you could go up the row go up the row go up the row to create you know a look for beginners you got all the shades in one row you know you don't have to think about it but these press glitters are amazing and I'm not into press glitter like that I like loose glitter I think I've talked to you guys about this in the past but these press glitters are easy to work with and I absolutely love it so I I just had to mention this palette and truly last but not least is the be perfect this is the only palette that I have by be perfect but this palette is bomb It's the carnival palette time Stacy Marie Majiga and it's got all the colors it's got you know your highlighter for your face I absolutely love this palette and this palette is so rich the colors are so pigmented they blend out so easily like oh my god this palette is gorgeous and it's the green blue pink purple lovers palette I absolutely love it oh my god guys we got through that that was like a lot so in any event let me know if you guys have any of these palettes let me know some of your favorite palettes within any given brand comment all that information down below I really want to know what you guys got in your drawer so you guys already know comment down below give me a thumbs up do all of that good jazz you know i love you guys so much and until my next video y'all
Bye-bye now.